wiggity whack. We are back with another episode of the Free Speech Podcast. I'm the mad lad of jihad, joined as ever by the Bajan sensation. Woo! Mr. Hate Speech. Hello! And our, and our producer with the most. A producer with the most. <laughs> <laughs> or a producer with the reducer. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't rhyme. <laughs> anyway, how's it how's it going? The vanilla gorilla. <laughs> the vanilla gorilla, that's right. How's it how's it going? What's been happening? What's the news? How are your gigs? Yeah. Why are your seats I, so I, high? Put them down. Well, why don't you put your seat up? Why don't you why? grow? Cause, cause <laughs> I can't put it down. If I put it down, it's gonna be like my knees are gonna be around my ears. I bought tell you what I bought a motorbike. Did I tell you? No. I bought a motorbike. Oh, oh you did, well, you've already told us this. Is this? No, crazy? I don't. I, I never heard this. Did I say it on the podcast? Yeah, no. you did. Oh, I did. I right, <laughs> right. Oh, this podcast. We're already recycling no. anecdotes. He did. Yeah, he did. Remember, he was driving his Suzuki in his purple trousers or something. Yeah. No, that was Never when he was trousers. a kid. That was no, when he was thought, a kid. Yeah, I thought that was when he was younger. He's just gonna say the same story. Okay. So I went back and got a Vespa. Recently. No, this was uh, must be like ten years ago, fifteen years ago. This is the same. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. We old. heard he's this story. Get, he's got. Dementia. But what's his purple trousers and driving a? You've got dementia, man. I don't have dementia. Yeah, what's yeah. his purple trousers? You but I don't know. You mean when he came leather. in with the gloves you and said, we were talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you, oh, you right, said right, you right. Like a, a pipe cleaner or something. Right. Because you're yeah, wearing yeah, velvet that, yeah. trousers or something. Right. I didn't say that at all. What what trousers were you? Leather trousers. Leather. Yeah. It's a motorbike. Motorbike. Leather trousers. 150 cc. Yeah, 100, 125. They go <laughs> pretty yeah, yeah, we had a motorcycle chat. All right, yeah, I definitely okay. remember now. Great. Okay. okay. Well, I won't tell you that yeah. anecdote then. Yeah. Don't tell <laughs> <us>. don't. <laughs> Are those flowers for you when you inevitably kill yourself? You're just going to tie them to the lamppost that they're going to you're going to ride into. Yeah, I'm going to put Velcro on the side of my neck, so when I when I hit it, it just automatically just, wraps the flowers yeah. there. In memory of Leo, who also yeah. looked like this lamppost. And like when the ambulance team turn up, they'll be like, "Wow, people have started mourning him already." already this guy like... must have been an amazing comedian. <laughs> but of... those flowers aren't for sorrow; those are flowers of glee. <laughs> 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 so they're like glad this prick is gone. When yeah. someone dies in a motoring accident, do you have to get those flowers from a from a petrol station? Is that the rules? Because they're always just, they look pitiful. The flowers that they have. Yeah, they never look that great. Nobody's yeah. getting like you know the fifty pound. Have you ever had? Flowers delivered to somebody, uh, yeah, because it that's expensive, it's crazy, but it's it's just um, a lot of it is like the vase and shit that you that you I, can... I didn't even get a vase, like I got this. I uh, don't, I don't understand the whole gesture of giving flowers though, because they just die, yeah, <laughs> you know so, what I mean? Yeah. It's like you've just murdered flowers, but that's like saying, What's the point taking you out for dinner? You're only gonna shit it out. No, you eat, you get nutrients. Yeah. Flowers, well, you just kill flowers the flowers you, for what the reason? Flowers, you no, can they, smell. They can smell them. And they look nice. And they look nice as well. Darius gets it. For four days. Yeah, I don't, listen. I'm, Longer. I'm, listen, and I'm, then it's over. That's the same thing with cards. I don't, I never got cards. No. Oh, Cur cards. Yeah. Uh, women Why love would you give someone a card? Forever, but women love them. Women love, love cards and flowers. And they also little them. presents tied up with like string and stuff like that. Man, they go crazy for I, that. I don't understand cards. They just take up space. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. I, I, I subscribe to the same thing as you, Nico. I think buying flowers is crazy. Yeah. It's stupid, but it does buy you a lot of brownie points and gets you out of a lot of trouble. Yeah. All for, the, for 20 quid. You know what? Uh, so I don't argue Hold with on, the let results. Me, let me, has anyone ever given you flowers, Nico? Yeah, I think so. What, someone's yeah. actually given you flowers? Yeah, I think like back in the day when you used to do Valentine's at school, I would and probably you, get a couple of roses did, or some shit. And did you like it? Only if she was fit. Only if it was a fit girl giving me it. Yeah, so, the, so, so maybe you don't like flowers because you've not received enough. I bet if someone gave me a bunch of flowers. No, I'd be like, it. what am I going to do with this? I, I got to look for a vase but now the woman, and some the water. The I'm going to tell my wife, why am That's, I getting flowers? Yeah. <laughs> so that really a fit woman says, effort. Nico, I saw you were brilliant. Here's some flowers. You go, oh, fuck you. I'm going to get a vase yeah. now. Unless I mean, you're winning a sporting me, competition, I, as a man, you should not be getting yeah, flowers. Yeah, exactly. I want some flowers. Not, uh, maybe I'll like them. But it's not. he's talking about like it's a puppy. I mean, it's not that much of a commitment. They also die after a while. Yeah. You, but you got to stick them in water. Got to cut the feet and then stick them in water. Yeah, nah, it's too much hassle. Too much give hassle. Me, give me flowers. chocolate. How do you cope with having children if flowers are too much hassle? <laughs> I struggle. <laughs> I, 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 I struggle. <laughs> to be honest, uh, I've got I've got given actual plants before, not right. not oh. flowers, and that's quite nice. Plants yeah. are good. Yeah, because I yeah plants because, because I eventually kill them eventually, but it's not it's not after four days. It's normally a week. We got so. a yeah. couple plants to like purify the air and stuff, mm. so that serves That'll purpose. Do it. 
You know what I mean? You know, the, the first ever human transplants were uh, tooth transplants when like sugar became part of the UK We're diet. We're talking about different plants. Yeah, yeah, but this is not because like, you know, uh, so they'd get basically sugar became part of the British diet and obviously it's the richest people who had it because the start of it is a luxury. Uh, but they get I do like, a joke about this actually. They get tooth I decay. I do a joke about this as well. They get they get tooth decay. So then like people would go down uh, to the poor house uh, and like just pay some like tramp for a tooth, they pull his tooth out, and then he stick the tooth in like the the rich guy's uh, where where his tooth got pulled out from, um, and like it would live for like a few weeks, but then it would die like flowers. But the thing is, like uh, bloodborne diseases are carried like that, Ugh. so then the rich guy would get all the disease, all the syphilis and typhoid and whatever that the poor guy had. So uh, that's the first human transplants. They didn't work, but they did give you syphilis. But what's that got to do with? Flowers. So he, the tooth he, would he, die. He, he heard plants. Yes. <laughs> tooth would die. A tooth's got roots. He heard plants. Well, what that. about they've they've? Tr- it's an interesting anecdote. But if you want to talk about transplants, it's a fact. They've transplanted transplants. the first. <laughs> they've transplanted the first human heart from a pig into a plant into into a human. So they've grown a heart in a pig, and now they've transplanted it to a human. And they did that last month. I wonder if he's still alive. But wonder I'm if not, you eat pork. Yeah, well, yeah. forget that. It's like no Muslim can get that though. They yeah, need to yeah. do it in a cow or something. What? A halal. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Before we took that cow out, we sh- we we, jug- we ripped its jugular. What's, it was what's, halal. What's, what's, Allah. what's Allah. Can Muslims eat boar, or is that considered a pig? That's a, a pig. pig. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a pig. It looks like a pig. It but is a pig. It's a pig. Anyway, is it, but is it just? Is it exactly the same thing as a pig? Yeah, what's just a pig that lives flowers? in the in the wild. Make but me. you know that you know what? that your favorite flowers. I guess petunia. What's a petunia? I don't even know why I asked <laughs> that. I don't even know what's a petunia. Bring up a no, petunia so I can have a look. How the fuck do I spell petunia? There's a little. Like exactly how it sounds. P e t u n i a. I like okay. lilies. <laughs> if anyone's listening, they want to send me some lilies. Send I them like to the Vauxhall Comedy Club. I <laughs> <laughs> mean, said tulips, but he meant like two lips. Is that a petunia then? That is a petunia. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a nice. Sorry. See, you've got, why are you laughing? Why are much of that Look at this. Yeah, why are you getting adverts? For I don't Brad? know. Price drop. What have you been looking at? Yeah. Yeah. Google. Yeah, much who you been buying bras no. for? Much. <laughs> this is shop petunia. Google Look. lilies. Is that the one I said I liked? Is, oh, it's an Els Petunia bra. There's a Petunia black. Petunia strapless There's underwire a... bodysuit. Is it? I like, can see t- you in this, Nico. You think people are going to be tuning into this podcast and expect, <laughs> like, you know, the bad boys of British comedy to be talking about wild <laughs> things? We're just Googling Petunias and Lilies. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, okay. I've got, I got, I got, I got a new story. Well, i got a story about the, you know, the heart. You know, the pig heart. Yeah. They, they, so they did gene editing on the heart. Yeah. On the pig's heart to like put genes in that would like make it be accepted by by the guy, and also uh, remove genes that would make it get get rejected. Google so it's if really, he's still alive. It's really interesting. They really like cut. It's not just like they grew this heart in a pig. Man, they like did the stuff to like sp- specify the genes, the G- the DNA in this heart, so it wouldn't get rejected. Wouldn't need as much like because it's anti rejection drugs that um, like with transplants oh, that make you ill. Wow, it's a Muslim doctor who did it as well. Oh, well that ain't halal. Well. Don't don't tell don't tell Darius. <laughs> I got be, I got quite. You'll be putting a fat wow on him. <laughs> <laughs> I got quite a backlash. Muslim dodger behind grandpa in transport says pig family were not happy because it's forbidden animal. Achilles <laughs> 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 trying using another animal. <laughs> like fucking hell! You're like this guy's the doctor. You know uh, what I mean? <laughs> I know you're saving my life, but please. Yeah just... yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> <Are you good>? <laughs> <laughs> so who did they put it in? Or pull up the picture of the man. To put David it in. Bennett is recovering and doing well. It's still too soon to know if his body will fully accept the organ and the next how fucking scary would that be Darius has anybody's body ever accepted your organ I... <laughs> <laughs> talking about shit. Oh. I don't get that <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what the joke is oh my god David Bennett does not look like he is going to survive let me have a <laughs> see <laughs> well, yeah, but that's him right after. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> which which we one should... is he? Which he looks... one is he? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Can we not just laugh at How... a, a man in my eye? Yeah. How's, how's the pig doing? <laughs> Does he have David's heart? Did they make bacon yeah, from the yes, pig? What? Did they make bacon from the pig? Or did they just incinerate it? <laughs> Probably, I don't know. I think That's it's a, a medical question. pig, so they probably have to incinerate well, you can still it. Still eat it. <laughs> yeah, in an ideal world, they probably would, but I think because it's, I, I, I imagine they they incinerated the pig. 
Do you reckon he ate not, the pig? Not, not, if not, tra- not if they grew the pig in Wuhan, they didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's in Wuhan, it got sold down the... Sold in, like, in the wet market. Yeah. <laughs> and they also sold the guy's old heart <laughs> as well and developed a new disease from it. Oh, it looks a bit better here. Let's have a look at... Go on, what's his name? David. David Bennett. David Bennett. Oh, uh, oh yeah, no, he's looking... He's looking, You're looking like... Brother um, of Steve. Sean Connery there. <laughs> <laughs> like Sean Connery. Yeah, he does look a bit like uh, Sean, well, Sean Connery as he is now. Yeah. yeah. He's, eyeing up a, he's eyeing up a job as a comedy reviewer. Come back. <laughs> Have you no is, heart, Bennett? <laughs> is there any point to comedy reviewers anymore? Like anybody, if oh, I'm, what if about I'm the podcast that slagged us off and we gave them two million percent Oh yeah, shit! The like I meant to clip out some audio from that, but then uh, it escaped my mind because it was such what, a, a podcast, podcast. Slagged us off. Yeah, man. Well, so they slagged off Leo. Mm. Brian Logan. Brian Logan uh, said you're you're a uh, fanny and you can't throw <laughs> and you look weak and that you like flowers. Who's Brian Logan? Uh, he's uh, he reviews comedy for the Guardian. If that's not an oxymoron. You know what I mean? Throw. Obviously, anything he says is good is going to be absolute drizzling dog shit, fucking boring, preachy, lecturing shite like Hannah Gadsby. <laughs> and anything he says is shit is going to be hilarious. Because okay. he's Brian Logan. He, <laughs> what? The he spoke he about doesn't have a fucking let, me, let me clarify what happened. What happened? So, yeah. Leo and I did the pro racist comedy show for the yeah. BBC. Mm. We identified the <laughs> attack helicopter. Yeah, but we identified. So we did that last week. Brian Logan has a podcast called But Is It Funny? I did check out the download numbers. And it's not even doing as well as ours, which is yeah. to say it's not it's doing a well. Yeah, Fair it's not sure about... Absolute shambles. Yeah, but the difference Fair is... Fair we've made six pounds off that. Yeah, but, but, no. but, but the difference is he's actually trying, right? <laughs> this is... That's him doing his absolute best, right? <laughs> <laughs> he goes in there. He's got a, a, he's got the sound of like proper like seg, 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 he's got segways <laughs> in. He's done it properly, right? Anyway, he did a review of like we're reviewing the comedy that's happening. And they said this week the BBC are recording Unsafe Space. Oh, him okay. and two other unknown comedians. Mm-hmm. Oh, one of them, one of them was. Like, it's funny. I was talking. To, I won't name her, but they, I was talking yeah. to another comedian. And she said, "Man, this this lassie. She's obviously a journalist that did like the Funny Women Comedy Course, and now she thinks she's a comedian." <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Liam sent it to me. I have to say, it was one of the most boring podcasts I've ever endured. But basically, the the gist of it was that the show that he hasn't seen, didn't know what it's about, was rubbish oh, and not yeah. needed. But that. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, and also they said one of the, one of the people on it said it was uh, dangerous. Mm-hmm. Dangerous. I it was dangerous. Yeah, yeah. This Radio Four comedy show, which obviously isn't going to be dangerous because it's on Radio Four and it's got. Well, to I did ask for it. I did with try, and, try and start a jihad during the. <laughs> yeah, you tried to start a, start a jihad. Um, yeah, but didn't work. Anyway, that's one of Leo's off. Of so when is the next recording of that? I don't know. Didn't the guy speak to you? No. All right. Oh, yeah. they asked us when it. Someone in the comments says when's it coming out. Seventeenth of February. Seventeenth of February. On what channel? GB Radio, News. Radio Four. Oh, it's a radio thing. Yeah. yeah radio. Okay. People listen to the radio? Yeah. <laughs> I don't listen to the radio. Yeah, I never listen to the radio. I listen never. to the radio. I listen to BBC World Service. Get the news yeah. from around the world. I, I don't, no, not me. What about M&Ms? They've uh, decided the way to make real progress is to change the green M&M. And uh, I don't know how they're doing it, but they've changed it from being a woman to a trans M&M woman. No, they've just, it's still a woman, but they've like, um, uh, they've changed the... It has both genitals. The feet. No, they've changed the shoes. So it's In- not a sexy Instead M&M. of wearing heels, it's wearing, or she is wearing trainers. And it's not as sexualized. And yet at the same time... There's one of them sexualized, the red one, isn't it? It depends what turns you on, Nico. <laughs> no, but one is a girly girl. Oh, no? the sexy one. Yeah. I don't know if the sexy one... So the... I think I think the sexy one has been desexualized, to be honest, and the mm-hmm. uh, uh, there's a brown one as well. Bring up the um, story, Mooch. What what's what's your favorite color, M M&M? and M? They all taste the same. See, no. I, I have a favorite one if they taste different. No, the brown one is no. the best. No. Why? Peanut M and M's. That's it. Yeah, they all taste different. Peanut really? M and M's. The coating. I might bring up the M and M's. Oh, you is know the true? only one that tastes yeah. different is Orange Smarties. Yeah, it tastes the taste of orange. And the rest tastes the same. Tastes the same. But like, the brown M&M's really yeah, brown, brown M&M's. Are you sure? Because yeah. like, man, I thought they all tasted the same. They all taste the same. Sorry, I, I was yeah. reading a text. This is, <laughs> what, what am I bringing up? Bring this up the is, M&M story. This is like when you told me that penguins are bourbon biscuits. No, nah, M&M's got flavor, different flavor. All yeah? right, let's get yeah. some M&M's and test this. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so they, they, they basically, and the Mars executives, I just can't believe, man, I saw one of the things they released and it was like, they just agonized over this, like it's a nuclear treaty with, with China or something. And it's like, it just doesn't matter. You're just changing the shoes on a cartoon suite in an advert. It doesn't, like, it's so infinitely unimportant. 
And also Mars are uh, in trouble for using child labour. So I love how they'll agonise over the slightest thing in their adverts, but meanwhile, the reality is they're using child labour. But who isn't? Candy revamp. They're not using child labour. Re- we, old, if we could, we would. How old's Vittorio? He looks about sixty. <laughs> if, there, if there is someone who can can do our edits cheaper and and for and is a child, please do get in touch. Yeah. Uh, maybe, candy makers, Mark's giving him a up, hit up Darius on TikTok. <laughs> and, and <laughs> <laughs> Darius, put your phone away, man. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm put your phone away. Her, I'm put your phone away. Put your phone away. Yes. What are you doing? I'm just sending a text to say stop calling me. I'm doing a podcast. Who's calling you? The only person who ever calls me. Who's that? My mum. <laughs> <laughs> the DVLA. The DVLA. The DVLA. That or, or Amazon or Google. Um, so, so what? We took the Eminem thing down. It's the hypocrisy of it. It's like, listen, no one gives a shit if your Eminem looks like a woman if yeah. you're using so, child Should have before and after of the Eminem, Mooch. And also they named they named it what after. Article? I can't find I can't... this article that you sent me. They named their... Uh, yeah, it's not, in the, it's not in the list of articles. Just, just Google no, Eminem's. Mooch, Mooch. Mooch. I just, no, he, just, he had it up. He just article. had it up. But listen, yeah, I've got a joke. That did, that, okay. Uh, so uh, they, sh- they shouldn't have named them after a gangster rapper. Eminem's came before Eminem. Yeah, it's a joke, though. It didn't work. Well, it does work. It's not factually accurate. Yeah, but it kind of works. No. No. I know when, you when was Eminem born? That's the question. Good point. Yeah. yeah. But when 19, did he start calling uh, I think Eminem? it would be 1969 Eminem was born, I'm guessing. Uh, Eminem on the, on the left looks kind of hot. Only because it's got legs. Yeah. And oh, got... that's the most racist shit. Why is that Eminem got white legs? Ah, oh, look, I there's somebody, rep- we said, resign Eminem, not redesign Eminem's. Wow. That's my joke, if it's I mean, funny. No. <laughs> 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 I will not buy another pack of Eminem until there's an Eminem with IBS. <laughs> That's quite funny. That is funny. Uh, the official pitch of Eminem's rebrand. Should we watch this? Science is real. <laughs> that is 2022 in a nutshell but you know there's man i was uh i follow this uh, account on twitter called um <laughs> libs libs of tiktok yeah. well, well, welcome to the party leo You're only man. four months late oh well how come you never spoke about it because everyone's freaking joe Everybody rogan thought, spoke, yeah. but it's, this is old well, how, come, how come you never spoke about it because everyone followed it like months ago oh well well done for following it and not telling anyone well, everyone yeah, everyone just it. assumed yeah. that everyone followed. Oh, everyone yeah. assumed it. There's yeah, something we... called the Babylon Bee as well. Yeah. Yeah. I heard about it ages ago. You... <laughs> yeah. So anyway, tell us about this new. Well, no, I don't new, want to know. This new Twitter. Account. No, why don't we do one of your stories? I just did the <laughs> 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 okay, what's the lives of TikTok thing? It's just He's yeah, sulking it's just now. Sad. He is yeah. sulking. Let's. Sad. I was lips. just gonna say it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it is good. Oh uh, well. Uh, uh, you yeah, yeah, but they've got su- satirical cut site called The Onion. It's also very good and very relevant. Actually, I haven't seen The Onion for a while. Well, it's oh. still going. But it's one of those that, like, because you know things like rise and fall, like BuzzFeed. Remember BuzzFeed? Was BuzzFeed like, is huge. fucked. Is it fucked? It's fucked. Why? Uh, it's share prices. It, like, you know, everything is share prices. Yet, yeah, but it's it's properly fucked. Facebook changed the algorithm, so it wasn't like you know BuzzFeed stuff wasn't getting. Like, no, it's 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 because it's drizzle. And it is shit. As it well. was drizzle. Do you remember at one point it started off and it was like uh Find out if you're a whatever in the top five. Whatever. And then suddenly it's like, we're doing investigative journalism and yeah. we've, we've cracked the story about the next. Yeah, they wanted, the to pull it, get a they wanted to be um, vice. Yeah. They and wanted to be vice. It's like, the f- you've just told me what cock size do you have? And then next to that, the pillage surprise for investigative uh, journalism. Well, they, 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 they were always quite woke and uh, they. The, there's loads of people who are just leaving BuzzFeed, and like it's there was loads of videos. Lots of YouTubers are doing it. Why I left BuzzFeed? Why I left BuzzFeed? Why Joe used been? to work for BuzzFeed, no? Joe, yeah, Jacob, Joe, Bohr. Joe, Joe Bohr. All right, he used to work for BuzzFeed. Why were people saying they were leaving? Well, I mean, it's kind of they people would go onto BuzzFeed, they'd get a little bit of success, uh, and then when their contract would end, they would go, "Okay, cool, BuzzFeed are not paying us as much as we could be making on our own." And uh, they're and they're giving us all these restrictions creatively. Uh, so there was some there was some stuff like un, unsolved uh, Buzzfeed was a really good vi- um, 
uh, YouTube video documentary series. Right. Uh, there were these two guys, and there was there's another series called Try Guys, uh, which was these guys who'd come on, get um, famous from BuzzFeed, and then when BuzzFeed were like, okay, we're only going to pay you this much, and they'll go, okay, we're going to just leave and set up and do our, because everyone knows us already. Yeah. Uh, but they were getting a lot of flack for, <laughs> so they hired a lot of, um, uh, pox and pe LGBTQ plus people. Yeah, uh, and like, then they were, and then we were getting like this podcast, yeah, and then they were getting really, really lots of flack uh, when they had to make massive layoffs because they seemed to only be. <laughs> oh, they fired them. Because, they what, fired what? people of color. Yeah, yeah. Can they not? Like that's disgusting. So they were getting lots of shit from everyone. Uh, it's it's been a massive, massively mismanaged. Yeah. Lot, mistake after mistake after mistake. They closed down their Australia and UK branches. They started off making you know twenty five lists of why you're a why whatever, and then, yeah. mm. then it got suddenly very 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 woke. Yeah. Uh, very 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 boring, and then go, go woke, woke, go broke, go woke, go broke. Yes, yeah. the slogan says. I think it, when the, the shift, they became quite political, and before when it was just stupid fun lists. Yeah. Everyone could get into it, but then when it became you alienate half your audience. Yeah, uh, it's uh, and you know you, you try and sort of take a political yeah. position, it can go. Yeah, wrong. man, people are so bored of woke stuff. They're not though. They're not. My entire career is based on people not being <laughs> bored of woke stuff. No, the, well, I mean, the I, 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 mean I mean, I mean, I agree with Darius. I mean, yeah, it's just, but like <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about all the movies and things. Oh, it's, we're gonna make Anne Boleyn black. Why? Just fucking write a story for a black character instead of like taking this up people are bored of she it, was like, actually black though no. <laughs> <laughs> apparently mozart was black according to no uh, it's beethoven oh uh, beethoven, beethoven really man. yeah well he had like a black grandfather or some shit. right oh yeah. well it turns out i don't know what i i don't know shit. it's beethoven because you look at his hair it's got that word it's almost oh, like yeah. afro hair type hair uh, and it's not a wig because a lot of people in those days had a wig yeah and that i um, guess beethoven a would, have, would have had a weave, a weave. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 stepped on your joke there <laughs> That um, who was that Russian author? Is it Pushkin? Yeah, he was black. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As if Darius yeah, reads yeah. Russian well, literature. I know, I, well, Vladimir Pushkin. I know that, Vladimir Pushkin. Who's that Russian author? Putin? No. Yeah. His name Gregory Gregory Vladimir Pushkin, and he wrote the novel, famously, "Exciting Times in Moscow." Is that serious knowledge by Darius there? Well, it just shows when pushkins to shove. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Is that the name of the novel for Yeah, me? that's one of his novels. I think it's his most famous How do you one. know that? Because I'm an educated person. Man, that's, that's mad. Man, yeah, that's mind. like some sort of film where you got like an autistic kid who just like somehow knows the code to unlocking uh, should the... We, should we double check that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm doing now. I'm ahead of you, Mooch. I'm way ahead of you. I'm way ahead of you. What I learned is if you just say something with authority... Is it not true? Is it no, completely not true? It's not fucking true. No. <laughs> 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 I was like, no. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that was smooth. That was smooth. <laughs> Exciting times in Moscow. You excited, yeah. I was thinking it's a weird name for 16th century Russian literature. I have like the no way this man knows that. Why did he name it like a teen drama from the 90s? Do you know what? He said the name with such vim and confidence yeah. that I was just like, I checked out what the title of the thing was. Grigory Vladimir Pushkin. <laughs> Because <laughs> originally I said Vladimir, and they went, oh, that's obviously Putin. Let me make up another name to make it so realistic. Go underneath the rainbow. Oh, shit. What is his name? Who the fuck is Putin? <laughs> <laughs> See if I can find it. Did he do... Um, Pushkin. Pushkin. Alexander Pushkin. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Yeah. A, a Russian poet. Uh, Alexander Sergeyevich Pushkin was a Russian poet, playwright, and novelist of the Russian of the Romantic era. Let's see yeah. if he wrote a book called Rom um, Exciting Oh, Times. he did uh, Mozart and Salieri. I wonder if that's what Amadeus is based on. Amadeus, Amadeus. Amadeus. Because that film Amadeus, that's about Salieri's rivalry with Mozart. Okay, let's have a look. Works. The books he wrote were Roslan e Ludmilla. Or English, oh, I'll, I'll do the English translations. Rosalind and Ludmilla, The Prisoner of the Caucus, The Gabrielle Ed, The Robber Brothers, The Fountain of Bacchidat, The Gypsies, <laughs> possibly racist, that book, Little House in Colmana, The Bronze Horseman, and Eugene 
Onigan, and he also did some dramas. But I cannot see that he wrote exciting times. <laughs> <laughs> exciting times at Ridgemont. Hey, yeah. exciting times yeah. in in Moscow. Yeah. They did write one called "The Captain's Daughter." Well, a poet has uh, has just got in trouble. Uh, well, she got in trouble a while back, but this is one of her stories. Uh, yeah. Kate Clancy. I think That's she's a segue, baby. Scott, that is a segue right there. Uh, so she's parted company with her publishing house, Pan Macmillan. Um, because uh, so she wrote this book called Some Kids I Taught and What They Taught Me. She wrote it like 2021 last year. Okay. Um, and she described some of her students and she used phrases like so she said one of them had um, almond eyes uh, and another one had chocolate skin. Um, and people have uh, seized on this. Well, only three people have seized on this as racist descriptions. But the students- What's actually, wrong with almond eyes? Well, the students, exactly, the students stood up for her and said, no, I do actually have almond eyes. Like that's just, we, you know- I think most people have almond eyes. I've got eyes. almond <laughs> eyes. I've got almond eyes. I've yeah, got but almond eyes. I think she had- I have white chocolate skin. She had more almond eyes. Did she say they had than... slitty eyes? <laughs> 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 That would be racist no. if she said that, no. like in a poem. No, she didn't. No, she yeah. didn't. All, all he went to the shape. big bad city. His eyes were very slitty. <laughs> <laughs> that um, no, she she didn't say that. He said hello, and the man said your skin is yellow. I mean, that would be a racist <laughs> poem. I don't. It wasn't don't a, know. It, like she's a poet, but this wasn't a po a book of poetry, as oh, far as I know. She was just like it's a memoir. She was talking about her kids that she she taught. Um, and yeah, she got she got criticised, and like so, it seems like she, her publisher has dropped her, and they're also uh, editing their t like thing. I mean, changing the book so it doesn't have those descriptions. It's ridiculous. Well, I, don't, I chocolate skin. I can chocolate understand how a little bit. I could understand how some people uh, would get like potentially a bit upset about that. Almond dyes is like that's not race de uh, de defined, is what it? What about caramel skin? Um, I've seen that as used as a description. Yeah, I mean, look, some people get arsy about all sorts of shit. What about flaunting her curves? I see that in the in the newspaper. Newspaper Someone or like pictured flaunting her curves. But what, what's that got to do with chocolate skin? Well, it's a description of something. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's not racist. This fat bitch. Yeah. <laughs> flaunting her kind of racist. I mean, if she wrote it in 2021, she should have known better. Ah, oh, I didn't know the three speech part is going woke. We, we, yeah. Well, we're not going woke. We're just, yeah, you know, we're just like, more sensitive and protective. first started out. Yeah. We used to have chocolate Vences. <laughs> uh, and, and Pop Secret. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. We had chocolate yeah. Vences. I was never booked for it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I named it Chocolate Wednesdays. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it came, it stuck. Did you, did you want to do any other? We should um, bring that back, though. Did, yeah, you, wanna, did you want to do any other races on other um, nights? Black Friday. <laughs> nah. No. Just that. No. That's good. Okay. Well, she's so she's lost her job now for being a racist. <laughs> good. She's, I think I, th can, I don't think that's be, enough. She, she'll I be doing she should... a gig with us next week. At <laughs> BBC. Yeah, ring her up. Get her on the pod. <laughs> what she had to say about this was she just like, come on. She was just like, what the fuck? Yeah. No, I don't know what she said. Uh, but the, one of our uh, students said. Um, Kate helped me find scholarships and helped me with my university applications. I went on to study politics, philosophy and economics in London and I'm now studying for an MSc in human rights and politics. I owe all of it to Kate. I'm sure she's done the same for many of her students. I feel very privileged to have met her. Well, it's not good enough. Well, can you I just know, so, say... Okay, every, so that person just, just, who sides with racists, we should probably look to... They should be cancelled Yeah, well. we should probably have some of that sorted out. I just yeah. want to interject. Every time my phone beeps, it's an alert from my stocks telling me they're plummeting. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, Why stock... do you get alerts? Well, well I wish I hadn't, because now I'm getting terrified that I'm losing all my money. You just you got to just forget about uh, yeah, prices got, going up fine. and down, because you can't do anything about I'm it. I'm looking at the, uh, the self-identifying as pregnant folks with... Volvo. we got to talk about Neuralink. What's and Neuralink? Pull up. Elon Musk doing the first trials of his Neuralink. Is, it, is there a link for this or are you just saying just Google what Neuralink is? Just, what is just, Neuralink? Just Google um, Neuralink Elon Musk. They put a chip in your is brain. Chip in the brain. Chip in the brain? I, so, I thought Elon Musk was like, you know, everybody like Joe Rogan and that liked him. And this sounds like something that I quite like. No, this Democrats is to give, you, to give you extra capabilities. Like what sort of capabilities? Like so, knowing who Russian poets are? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Download shit faster. Um, like them learn shit faster. So like, really? yeah. And to, also, to treat neurological disorders, apparently. And also to help um, people who are paralyzed. Right. 
Well, that sounds nice. That guy's. That's a monkey. That's a monkey. That's racist. No, it's, actual, <laughs> it's a monkey blowing a into monkey. the, into a TV by the looks of it. What the is fuck? That is that an this? inflatable TV? Or is it a monkey just sucking off a rod? Yeah. Maybe that's a paralyzed monkey. your brain less here. SpaceX and Tesla CEO Elon Musk is continuing to push the frontiers of neuroscience with controversial brain computer interface startup. Neuron. There's a pig. Hang on, a this is coming out the wrong thing here. Sorry. Oh, is it not on the recording? No. Right. If we go to here. Can you make what, any what? more noise? Yeah, Leo, why don't please? you make that louder, Leo? Look, really? well, you? if you would talk. Can you get some well, maracas as well, please? We're watching the uh, we're watching the Neuralink race right. video. Take it, take it back a yeah, little bit, Mooch. Yeah, oh, wait, sorry. that's sick. Okay, yeah, and right, I'm much down Be quiet now. SpaceX and Tesla CEO Elon Musk is continuing to push the frontiers of neuroscience with controversial brain-computer interface startup Neuralink. A video posted to mm. Twitter shows a monkey named Pager playing the video game Pong with his mind, thanks to a chip implanted in his brain. The post comes after an appearance by Musk on social media site Clubhouse in February, where he shared updates on the company's progress. According to Musk's predictions, Neuralink could shift to human trials sometime this year. We feel confident about getting the, uh, the link procedure, the, the installation of a link, done in under an hour. Um, so you can basically go in in the morning and leave the hospital in the afternoon. The chip is designed to read and write brain activity and could potentially aid patients with neurological diseases like Alzheimer's. Musk has referred to the device as a Fitbit oh, in your skull, claiming it will one day give people telepathic powers. Yeah. Remember Clubhouse? <laughs> what is Clubhouse? Exactly. Remember it came out during the yeah, during thing and everyone and everyone mad, mad about it, but it's like fuck off now. I might it. have to just send that to Victoria so that it, it looks a bit better because uh, I'm not sure that audio was coming through. Um, you know uh, that thing that that. So you're gonna be able to write memories in your brain and and stuff. Like Total Recall. Yeah, 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 and like Black Mirror and stuff like mm. that. How do you feel about that, Nico? I think anybody who's doing that is crazy. It's a market. Well, of the beast. they would be crazy until they get the link in their head. <laughs> then it stops them being crazy, Nico. Is that the mark if, of the beast? No, no, no. That's not buying and selling. Mark of the beast is buying and selling. The mark of the beast is the digital ID that's coming. There you go. You heard it here first. But anything that's going to have you hooked up to the internet with the chip in, in your head, <clears throat> in your head, is going to mean that it can be hacked. So people can go in there and rewrite your memories, or that'd be cool, or or make you a pedophile, turn you into a Manchurian candidate. Yeah, yeah. Now you guys hot some... girls in your area. Download. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that that's risky, man. It would yeah. make. Imagine Mas hacking into into someone's brain. It would make masturbating easier because you wouldn't have to worry about holding your phone in one hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if somebody put dodgy images in there for you. Yeah, what dodgier than what fucking Leo is looking up anyway. And I'm then the Minority Report police find those files on your brain. Like we've, watching, we've already got Minority Report. I like report. watching Redheads. Mm. Leo likes Redheads. <laughs> Go on. Getting get <laughs> what? Getting made love to. Getting made love to. Yeah. Getting respected. <laughs> in a respectful and con nice way. Consensual way. Consensual and nice. <laughs> and bought flowers. <laughs> <laughs> uh... But that's so my, so oh, so Nico, second. you're not keen for this. You're not going to get this. Anything to do with technology, I'm against. Anything, <laughs> anything to do with te technology what, is going to enslave us. What about podcasts? Hmm? What about podcasts? I only do this because I want to get the word out. What about, <laughs> <laughs> what about what, cars? What, what word is that? <laughs> <laughs> What's the word? To to remove ourselves from technology because it's going to enslave us. Hmm. To step away from it. I mean, we are we are now. Uh, you know, the other day I thought I'm gonna not use my mobile for a bit. I was trying to remember how I used to just get around mm. with just using an old mobile phone and like an iPod. It's impossible. Yeah. I mean, how did I get to gigs? I would have had to Google it. No and, like, one was yeah, booking I you. Like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but, I, but I managed to get to some gigs I remember, before they realised not to book me. I remember driving places and you print out like 20 sheets, like off the I, internet. I used to draw shit out. 
I used yeah. to draw a little map. <laughs> Some treasure. Naming yeah. the turns and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's madness. You, that's what motorway exit numbers were for. You mm. need to get off on this exit number. Yeah. And fuck knows if I look at them anymore. It's yeah, just kind of yeah. like when the arrow points, it starts flashing red. When that's the satellites when fall out of the sky, we're going to be screwed. We are fucked, yeah, yeah. to get to mums. Mm. We can't build nothing, anyways. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if shit does go down, who can build stuff with their hands these days? Bear Grylls? Yeah, just probably him. him but I watch us, YouTube. Can't I can. Shit. I watch YouTube videos. Yeah, but not if there's no satellite. There's no beaming. YouTube video. Yeah. I did some building with Tony Marizzi. Yeah, I did but I mean, like playing and stuff. Like, how long do you think it would take for us? Twenty three, minutes. Three of us. Twenty to, minutes. No, no. Like, let's say the world has got hit by something. Yeah. And all everything, and we got to start from scratch. Yeah. How long do you think? We it would, would take us to, to build die. A, to build to build a laptop. I'd like to watch a laptop. laptop. Yeah. <laughs> oh man! I thought you were gonna say like a bar, <laughs> like, a hedge, <laughs> a laptop to, to build fucking... a spear. Where are you gonna get a lithium ion? <laughs> you're going in quite high. You know what I mean? You gotta build this laptop so I can. I've got a spreadsheet for my cows. <laughs> You know what I mean, though. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't have them type of skills. Well, man, what? yeah. There's a there's a mad well, I don't exhibition. Think many people could build a laptop. Well, there's a mad exhibition in the uh, science museum. So this guy basically tried to to do that. It wasn't a laptop, but he tried to build a toaster himself from scratch. Mm. So getting the iron ore and like smelting it and getting the metal like that and all the things you needed to build this toaster. And they had the toaster there. It didn't work. It kind of looked like a toaster. It might have worked a little bit, but it just showed the sort of the complexities. You know, some you can get for a fiver from yeah, Argos. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. amount of complexities. Yeah, exactly. We're we're in such call. Even anything, anything is just. I, I so still many don't even understand so how technology. a fax machine works. I don't understand that. To you me, don't that need blows to because they don't work. They're anymore. gone, man. Yeah, we I haven't know. had them for thirty <laughs> years. I know, like, but still, you should be worrying about how these work. No, <laughs> yeah. I, can, I can understand that more than a fax machine. What? A, fa a fax machine is writing shit from one side it's to exactly the other side. It's exactly the same as that, but with a That's printer mad. on each end. That's it. No. It's a phone with a printer. You know what? You know what they're... That's... That, you know what it's scanning, it's sending, and it's telling the other one what to write. Yeah. That's crazy. So you know when you make iron ore, do you mm -hmm. know what the waste product's called? Slag. Slag. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. It's GCSEs, baby. That's not even misogynist. That's what it's called. Slag. Do you know why they're called slag slags? Because they're iron deposits or some shit. I don't know. Because uh, it, it's deposits. the unwanted bits that, you know, that is oh. readily available. Apparently. But they're quite uh, wanted, usually. <laughs> I, I don't make the rules. Right. I don't yeah, think Slags are welcome. Them. I don't yeah. think that's why they call them slags. Uh, let's look at what, 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 what. It's a waste deposit or waste something. Yeah. That lies in a big heap. What do you think? Next do you think village? we could build a house? A house is easy. Wow. Uh, have you, have you built a house? I built a bird house. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is it like wiring that? <laughs> <laughs> I had a bird house with a little hole he could peep out and shit. That's that was cool. <laughs> yeah. And a, and a little um, thing to stand so on. So you just scale it up for humans? Yeah. You just have a That's little like... perch outside the, outside the door. A house, a house can't be that hard to build. How would you make fire? How? Yeah. We, we were just sticks. Rub them. Yeah, but how? Just like, what's, what's your... I know how to do it because I watch... Have you done it? Yeah. Oh, have done you actually it. done it? We, yeah, I've no, done it as well. Not. I haven't. I'm lying. I've done it. I've done it, yeah. yeah how long did we did it at Cub Scouts. You went to Cub Scouts? Yeah, we went to Cub Scouts. That's and we had to long. camp and shit. Was it, what, there's a Barbados Cub Scouts? Yeah, there's Barbados Cub Scouts. <laughs> it's harder to get a fire going in the UK, though, because everything's cold and wet. Yeah, 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 probably. But, yeah, we just... Get some sticks and rub them together, or magnifying glass yeah, and uh, yeah. some or dry a, leaves, or a lighter, yeah, or a lighter, which is readily available in most places. Yeah, Just, I use fire lighters and a lighter. I I used, I've used um, the flint and the metal to start a start. I, I can. I used to be able to build a bow and arrow as well. Really, so I'd be I able can to build hunt. a bow and arrow. That's easy. Mm -hmm. what, what do you mean? Where, where have you built a bow and arrow? You just think. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get the string for the arrow? Um, for the my, bow? I can't remember, but my dad had string or something. Oh yeah, well, uh, if you give me the string, I was thinking, How you, you did you kill piece. anything with this bow and arrow, or was it just purely for for show? Yeah, you could hit birds. 
could, what, you, could hit, but, you could you could or yeah. you did yeah you did you like, did? It, it would actually shoot yeah you killed a bird but no i hate birds you but hit? they wouldn't die <laughs> 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 what are they? they just got annoyed like, bloody, why is this kid ruining heart? my day <laughs> all these slags <laughs> <laughs> what are they heart they're just like woo. <laughs> they fly off <laughs> they were like okay it's not safe here <laughs> and just fly off <laughs> I used to keep pigeons when I was young, man. Who are you, Mike Tyson? Yeah. <laughs> Did Mike Tyson keep yeah, pigeons? Yeah, Mike Tyson used to Bob keep pigeons. Bob loves pigeons. Yeah, pigeons are cool, man. Why? They just they make you relax, man. What's they, better, they... pigeons or gerbils or dogs? I'm a, I'm a pigeon guy first and foremost. Really? Yeah. You must love London. We used to get, like, um, so I used to keep pigeons, and I would have, like, corn, dried corn as well, corn on the cob, dry, dry it out. And then go outside and just throw the corn in the air. And they come and swoop down and grab it. Yeah. What's and then you'd shoot them. Quite relaxing. <laughs> Did you have them by name? No, I didn't name them, but we had them wrong. My mum hated them because they used to shit everywhere. <laughs> 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 but it was cool, man. Yeah. Did they shit in the toilet seat? No. Nah, they, they, they would shit on the roof. Did they, they hover the over the toilet seat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They would um, be up on the roof. My girlfriend's, yeah. uh, my fiance's got this massive cat. Like a big, yeah. massive fucking cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> not funny. <laughs> just a clown. And we're, we're eating um, <laughs> Nando's just last a night. Big red pussy cat. Mm. We're eating Nando's last night. Uh, it's just sitting there next to me on the couch. And then I had like the, the tub of garlic perinese. And the cat just goes like that into the mayonnaise. What? And just well, he, pucks, put, he, he just, puts his face in it or no, his paw? The paw. Just, oh. just poured it. Yeah, oh. just poured it. Oh, like okay. an absolute Leo. prick. Should have hit him. I'd kick the cat. <laughs> You'd kick the cat. Yeah, kick it. Have a break. Have a kick cat. Not what about to. what about bring it back on track? Uh, kind of recent story. Face masks make people look more attractive. Study says. <clears throat> Someone looking at Darius says. Well, I mean, is that a shock that people think that you look more attractive? That face? that is propaganda, man. I know it's propaganda, but That's the point is, it's like it's not shock. It's like what. Ugly people look better when they've got a fucking bag on their head. Yeah, I know that. Well, I think mm. what it's what it shows is it was actually specifically men. M women say that men look better because yeah, men face are mask. ugly. Yeah, and that's, that just shows that women don't fancy men. But also, like, because they said it's got connotations of being a doctor, uh, and women obviously, although they find men disgusting, uh, if a man's rich, they will be attracted to him. Why do women like? Money? Why do women like money? Don't know security. Is that what it is? I'm yeah, assuming so. Or bags and shit. What I never understood though is like women, like, I want a Premiership footballer and or people, and they'll be like, I'm going to get him. But it's like, yeah, he'll have sex with you, but he's not going to give you loads of money. So what's the point? Something. Yeah, I, think, I think if you have, like, Something. did you not see this? Um, maybe, they, maybe I've got it. Uh, was it LeBron who put Tabasco in the in the? That's Drake. Oh, Drake, 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 Drake. So, like, that's that's an urban myth. What's the story? Wait, what's the story? No, it's not. It's the, the urban... lady is suing him. What's so, the story? What? What's the story? Nah, it's so, a myth. Uh, urban myth. A lady, an Instagram model, is suing uh, Drake because uh, she, he he basically, after they had sex, uh, he put to hot sauce in the condom and threw it in the bin. She went to the toilet, grabbed the condom, threw it up herself, and obviously the hot sauce stung and Why shit like that. Why did she put the condom up herself? To Why? try and get pregnant trap him. from Drake. And get that. Well, it sounds like why did he she put, be suing him. How did he put no to put Tabasco in the condom? Because Drake has been in this game for a while. And he's done, you know, it's... Uh... What if his cum is just Tabasco? <laughs> 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 or right, what if that's what he likes? Yeah. Uh, Instagram model accuses Drake of putting hot sauce inside condoms. Uh, he seems seems responded, you can't have you can have your fifteen minutes of fame. An Instagram and, model is accusing Drake of. A I love that. I love that phrase. Instagram model. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a I'm a fucking Facebook like king of the world. You know what I mean? Like, After disposing of the condom, she took it out of the trash and attempted to impregnate herself inside the bathroom, not realizing what it contained. The woman revealed. Uh, is she fit. I imagine she's she's not. Why are they just uh, she's not a slag. Why it stop being uh, disrespectful to women? Never. Okay. We're, se cool. we're sex positive in this podcast. Is why have they just got pictures of Drake looking all moody? Nobody wants to see Drake's moody face. Show Let's, us the, show so let, let him I read mean, some more. Yeah, read, let, that's interesting. Read the thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, the woman revealed the accusations to too much, 
hot tea blog saying she screamed due to the burning sensation champagne puppy as he's known on instagram ran into the bathroom and allegedly admitted to pouring hot sauce in the condom and he went gotcha <laughs> <laughs> hot ones <laughs> Uh, then, though it's an unusual way to prevent pregnancy, the Canadian crooner has previously complained about having to go above and beyond to ensure that women won't collect his sperm. Gold medalist flushed uh, the magnums just so they not collect in my specimens. Damn, he rapped. Okay, thank God. I was, thought I was having a stroke. Uh, on the song Wasting Time with Brent Fires. Well, yeah, wait, wait, yeah, why wouldn't you just flush the condom down the loop? It, well, I think you'll find that that will degradable. block your toilet. It's not supposed to be flushed. Also, if you tie a knot in it or something, they don't ever flush, do they? They just kind of catch a bit of air. So why don't I, he just um, pour water into the condom and then I thought, pour it down the drain? I thought condoms are a thing like spermicide or something that like. Um, yeah, but like, I imagine I, I don't think that's. Foolproof. I think it's just trying to catch the wayward well, ones. Right. Put water in the condom and throw the water Why down the. Why don't you put the, the condom in the, the tissue toilet. paper and then throw that down the toilet? Why don't you squeeze all the jizz out? On. Uh... Why doesn't he just not wear a condom and then just pull out? Um, because that's the probably not the best way to get it. Let's don't listen can... to us for contraceptive advice. Yeah, everyone here has got kids or <laughs> nearly. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I'm trying to find who she is. Maybe because it's a court case, they don't have. Um, I don't. I don't put hot sauce in my condoms. I've never done that. I've never done that either. I put mayonnaise in mine. <laughs> 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 and then you eat it. <laughs> Darius puts breadsticks in his breadstick. and takes them on a picnic. Yeah, my penis is a breadstick. I mean, let's be honest. It could be one of a million fucking Instagram models, but uh... Instagram model. Oh, maybe it's this one. Oh. Let's have a look. This is an Instagram model. Um, but I don't know. What's her name? She's got a blue tick. Joe. Well, uh, yeah, he used Leah. to go and watch her son uh, play basketball. She has quite a back off. Quite a what? A batty. Big bum. Yeah. I don't know if this is if this is her. Wow. <clears throat> but that's like. She fake. keeps messaging me. That's you. Yeah. Nico wanted to get another porn star on the thing. Yeah. How did we get onto Drake and Tabasco down his in his condoms? I don't know. Oh, but uh, talking of uh, dating and the world of dating and stuff like that, uh, Tinder um, has got in trouble for charging people over thirty more. But that's old. They always used it. They've done that for ages. Yeah, but like, it's ageism. Yeah. yeah. That's, they, uh, that's uh, why people have to lie about their ages on Tinder to what, try and uh, save some money. <laughs> Tinder is charging over up to forty-eight percent more for its premium Tinder plus. Imagine service. paying for Tinder. Has any, have anybody ever paid for dating apps? Yeah, yeah, I did for a bit. What was it like? What was the difference? I don't know. I How was... many men did you pull? <laughs> hey, <laughs> how many boys did you pull? <laughs> <laughs> My MJ's in the <laughs> <laughs> How many? Uh, what, what app did you animals. pay for? Mook? I think it was Tinder. Um, and you know, I I got out of a relationship. I was like, right, cool, let's up these numbers. Yeah. So I just I upgraded to whatever it was. Did it work from, from zero to? No. <laughs> <laughs> it, did, it, did it work? No, it did. You you get more matches or something like that. But the, it it was just bullshit, and I got off them after a while. You right. know, it wasn't it wasn't amazing. You didn't find love on Tinder. I did. I found my missus on Tinder. Oh. Nice. So yeah, nice. and maybe it did work. I can't remember exactly when I started and stopped paying for it. Yeah. Uh, but it, it was like, you know, it, there, it wasn't like the top whack one. It was yeah. just right, cool, whatever. And when when I was on the dating apps, apps Bumble was my favorite because the women talk first. You know, yeah, now you see how hard it is to come up with a good line. And they'd send you like gifts of a seal going, hello. Yeah, and, oh, still, yeah, and still you wouldn't give a flying yeah. fuck. You'd I'd just be, be like, yes, you're fit. I couldn't give a crap if you sent me. Not me. me. I, got, I, got, I would be like, listen, you better. that's not a good enough opening line. You better yeah. come, look, look at something in my profile and come up with a creative line. But it's funny how many women think that they don't have to put any effort into the message or whatever because they're like, oh, well, I'm a, I'm a woman, I'm fit. And it's like, no, like, because yeah. we're we aren't actually just interested in like I mean, nice pets and stuff. No, I, no, we're, we're, should we explain yes, yes, no, no? Oh, yeah, we've got this great system for grading women in a really misogynist way. It, yeah. oh, it's foolproof. A foolproof. Foolproof just, system. You want to explain it? Well, I can hardly remember it. It was developed by Alexander Grigory Pushkin. And <laughs> <laughs> basically, this is, this is our like, symptom for, for, for how men treat women. 
right? So no, is that how, is how, our, our, is how we grade women? <laughs> yeah, how we grade women, right? And like whether we'd sleep with them or not. Yeah, and whether we're sleeping with them. So it says, yes, I would sleep with them. Yes, I would make the effort to sleep no, with them. No, so it's like, yes, I'd sleep with them. And this is a them. really easy system, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, because yeah, yes, yeah. I'd sleep with them. is like yeah. the last one. So yes, I'd sleep with them and I'd introduce them to my um, family and friends and like take and them I'd out for make an effort to sleep with them. And I'd make an effort to sleep with them. Then it's like, yes, I'd sleep with them, but I wouldn't make much effort. And like, you know, I wouldn't. And then like, yes, I'd sleep with them, but like, you know. I'd make no I'd, effort and I wouldn't introduce and, them to my face. And I'd leave by the back door <laughs> and I wouldn't walk them to the bus stop. And like, then, uh, yeah, uh, then it's like, so it's like, yes, 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 no. Um, and I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah, yes. and then it's like, no, I would make no effort to sleep with them. But yeah, if she tried to sleep with me, I would sleep with her. Yeah. No, I wouldn't tell my friends. And then sometimes, no, I wouldn't introduce to no, my family. Yeah. No, I wouldn't like you know leave by the same door. No, and then it goes. Go. Yeah, and sometimes you get a no, 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 which is no, I wouldn't make any no, effort. No, I wouldn't be seen with them in yeah. public during no, daytime. No, even if she tried to sleep with me, I wouldn't let her sleep with me. No, I would definitely not tell anyone about this. Yeah. But yes. Yeah. So it always ends on yes. It always ends on yes. It always ends on yes. Yeah. And that's how, that's how women get men. That's how women get men. Like, because we, it's very hard to, to say no. All right. I got... Okay. <laughs> I, I got to leave some. Have you got a We've system? We've all got to leave. Have you What's got a system, system for grading? Um, we used to use the old um, pump no. or dump. Pump, pump or dump. dump. Yeah. Do you remember Hot or Not, the website? Yeah. Yeah, it was great. What's, what's pump or dump? Is that a Beijing hot or not? No, that it's basically. Would you pump that, or would you dump, dump that? that? And what pump or dump? So this is like the yes or no, but just it's a bit more binary. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so our, our one's uh, much better. We're non-binary. Your, yours, yours is more Complex. intricate, yeah. more detailed. Yeah, because it's, it's just, it gives you more of an insight. Shade, sometimes there's shades of grey. It can't just be pump or dump. It's yeah. like pump, but don't let anyone find out. Sometimes it's a no, 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 but yes. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cut you. Cut it. Yeah, cut that. That's not even funny. That's not even funny. It was funny. Yeah, cut that. Just beep it. Just beep the name. Why would you even fucking do that? Can you beep it but just put a picture of the face up? Yeah, no, cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Don't. Don't, I, you think I don't have dirt on you? Okay. You think I don't have dirt on you? Okay. Every every what, week after the podcast, the chip shop one? He's, like, he's like Leo the chip with you. Shop one? The he's chip like Leo with you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So Nico used to be what? a pickup artist, right? And <laughs> we're, <laughs> what are you talking about? We were uh, we were out we were out one night in Islington, and uh, there was this big fat lass at the bar, and Nico was like, he's like, what should I what should I say to her? I'm gonna go up chat her. <laughs> I was like, man, just just tell her, just tell her you own a chip shop, you know? <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, tell her you got a Mars bar in your bag, like fuck, like you're gonna make her night. Who's this? Who's this fat person? I don't remember that. Yeah, I remember it. You said, you said, I'm not gonna name her, but you shouldn't be ashamed. You said it was your. No, nah, cut it. I'm happy for the cut. No, just it's beep fine. it. Just, just beep the name. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're, but I got, I got that the whole time. But you said it was your Everest. Your Everest. Why moment. are we talking about it again? <laughs> oh, sorry. Because it's fucking hilarious. It's not funny. It's yeah. It's, it's not funny. hilarious. It All right, it's not hilarious. It's not hilarious. Let's talk about Darius. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Christian couple refuse to let gay couple view or buy something. What time yeah. do you have to go? I got you? five minutes. Because, Why? Um, I got top secret and it brought the shows forward. Ah, right. uh, okay. Because. The rooms weren't clearing up fast enough. How right? long's the pod been then? Maybe we can let. We're on fifty-five minutes. We gotta go over an hour, man. Our, our our audience get furious when we do less. Okay, yeah, go 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 for it. Um, What's the? Is this on the list? Couple, Christian couple refuse to let go, gay couple view or buy their home. Uh, <laughs> this is the story that Leo shared from the Times. Actually, I've got a wicked site which is so you can never read the Times, but I've got a site that gets. Oh, yeah, the... I've got that. You put the URL in, and yeah. it gives the whole story. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, Paid. what's it called? It's called. Oh, I don't have it on this phone. Well, you just go to the Daily Record where they've got exactly the same article. Oh yeah, you could do that. That's quite a boring article. What other stuff? Um, a conservative minister is oh man you know what's like nhs so my um my friend works for the nhs and she said covid twice she caught it she caught the first one like before there was vaccines she's got long covid from that and then she got omicron and she's been told that she's going to get fired in april if she doesn't get vaccinated and there's issues because she's got long covid there's issues 
with uh, like long COVID interacting with the vaccine. So it's you know there's concerns over that, and it just I don't also. The CDC just brought out a study that shows that uh, natural immunity from having COVID is six times more protective than the vaccine. So she's got like better protection than the if vaccine. If she gets the brain that. chipped so that she thinks correctly, then she can keep her job. That's the way it's going. I, I just thought we weren't mentioning that word. Yeah, med what, what? Me medical intervention. Medical intervention. Oh, well, I thought mentioning things yeah. that people didn't want to mention was out the window, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 just like, <laughs> I said, cut it. I said, cut it. Another it does a joke. It's another podcast that's going to be demonetized. Who cares? I, I need that Who one cares? No, this, this won't be demonetized because we're not saying anything bad about vaccines. Mm. Although saying that... I, I thought I, we also said I medical think that, intervention. I think they're going to stop that now because so many... And it, which should... Be, it should be paused for thought if NHS staff are saying they don't want the vaccine. Like whether you're pro or against, like if you're pro, I think why is there so many in the NHS who are front line that don't want it? It should at least be a pause for thought. And it's, it's but I think it's not going to happen because they're going to. I think all the ones that are sort of refusing, like the vast majority of them have had COVID at least once, maybe twice. So like they've got the natural immunity and that's why they don't want to, you know, Get the yeah. get the vaccine. Big up that man, um, Steve James though. Doctor Steve James. Yeah, he's great. What? What did he do? He's the one that stood up to Savage Javid. Oh really? And he said he don't think he should have the vaccine or should be forced to have. Oh, it. was that right. the one on the news? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. When Savage Javid asked him yeah, about yeah, yeah. the mandate, yeah. and he stood up to them, and yeah, he's great. So he started getting um like a coalition of other doctors and health people to challenge this stuff yeah so yeah but and then I... then fauci's come out today or yesterday sometime and he said oh we need to prepare americans we, you know what they said everyone's all oh, conspiracy theorists they all don't know no but he come out and said we need to prepare them that for the fourth booster mm -hmm. and that they're going to change it's not going to be double vaccine it's going to be like are you up to date with your vaccines which is what all the conspiracy theorists said two will not be enough because the way it works is that you're going to keep on updating and updating it yeah. because it loses thing. And all these people are saying, like, fair enough, everyone thinks Marese is mental, but he's been saying that from, like, last year. So it's not going to be one. It's going to have to be up yeah. to date, up to date. Yeah, and no one knows what the spike protein get getting injected into you how many times, three, four times a year is going to do to your immune system. Probably no make, one really knows. Probably make your dick fall off. So... Well, it might. Well, one of the else side effects, dick fall off. Alleged, well, from what I know, is the way it works is it um, <laughs> it, it does make your immune system. Uh, it, they've even said it kind of lowers your own immune system. Yeah. Because then you're reliant on it. Someone says that subscription pays you go to stay healthy. Really? Well, I mean, how many? At, at one point, even if you do take all the boosters, you do everything. At one point, someone's going to say, listen. These are costing us money. You're going to have to pay now to start getting the vaccine. Like they're doing with the tests. Well, oh, yeah. like They can't keep on, like, whether you're pro or not, you can't keep on rolling out vaccines that cost someone. Someone's paying for them. Yeah. So they're going to have to start pushing that cost onto other people. Then you will see what the take-up's like if you have to pay for your vaccine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, medical intervention <laughs> is what we're Oh, and also, also a conservative minister, so a lord, Lord Agnew, he's resigned from the House of Lords. What time are you over, actually on, Leo? Over COVID fraudulent. 6.15? Oh, yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah. Maybe we can let... Maybe, maybe we Leo... Can let, uh, maybe not Leo, maybe can, Nico pop go off go and then, and we'll, then we'll we can slag him off. Yeah. Should we just put a picture yeah. of Leo? I'll get see if I can find a picture of... All right, Nico, we'll let you go. No, 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 because I don't want y'all putting up well, some bad we, picture of me. <laughs> we're going to go, in, go until 6. No, it's good. Are you going to stay till 6? No. I'm going to stay five more minutes. All right. Oh yeah, so this Lord Agnew has resigned in anger over COVID fraud. So um, there's been huge amounts of fraud uh, with a bounce back loan fraud thing. So like people were setting up companies and getting like tens of thousands of pounds. And there's also been fraud in the government with these uh, fast track um, VIP lane COVID contracts that were done, you know, no no procurement process, no, no due diligence. And um, uh, Transparency International reckon 20% of them are, are dodgy or possibly fraudulent well didn't matt hancock just give it to his mate in a pub yeah yeah yeah, yeah ppv yeah mm -hmm. and like michelle moan as well she's got like her husband on it like everybody's everybody's uh doing all these dodgy things 
and getting mil hundreds of millions of pounds of taxpayers' money. It's, it's mental. And then, then the government's got an incentive for lockdown to continue because they're making so much money. They then personally are making so much Apparently, money. if you die in hospital with COVID, the hospital gets money, at least in America, if you're in a, America, yeah. in America, you're registered as a COVID death. Right. Their hospital gets like 30 grand. So it incentivizes them to... to right. To, which is meant... Like, why are they being incent... Why, why would that be... Yeah. Um... <laughs> 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 Why are we laughing? Look I got a screen. picture of Nico, so when when he goes, we can just <laughs> <laughs> make it bigger. Yeah, there, there you we go. go. <laughs> <laughs> can you? Why are you dressed like a pirate in that? Wait, wait, Nico. That wait, 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 um, wait. Wait, bring it up there. Bring it up there. Yeah, it's not no, going to go in front of. Darius is trying to get it in front. <laughs> <laughs> This guy, this guy. How uh, comes not in front? We're not in the metaverse, Darius. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't just see that, man. <laughs> Darius trying to put it in front of the mic in front of the picture. But how's hey. the bot? No, I was trying to do it so it's here. Look, no, move it. <laughs> There, there. Oh, this is better. <laughs> For those of you listening, uh, I've superimposed a picture of Nico onto the onto the YouTube video so that a dashing photo, a dashing photo of Nico Bonaparte. Yes. Yeah. Gang, 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 gang. Then you want is that Napoleon? No, that's um Nelson. Right, Nelson, Admiral Nelson. Mm. Yeah. What's everyone's plans this week? Oh yeah, I'm doing a show January 28th. <laughs> <laughs> Please, for the love of God. Uh, in Bristol at the Tobacco Factory. Wait, is that, is that on uh, when this is released? That's on Friday. Yeah, so Friday. if you're listening to this now, and Please. you're in Bristol. No, get, gonna... get a tube, train, or bus, fly, whatever. Get down to Bristol. You've got four hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is Monday. we got to release this Wednesday. <laughs> no. well, we're we're released early. Friday. But how many tickets have no, you got No, we said left? we're going to bring it back to Thursday, no? Yeah, we're hopefully. Yeah, release I'm... it on Thursday. At Actually, least. we're going to ask you, the listener, when is the best time for us to release the podcast? Yeah. If you let us know the day that <laughs> like you want to listen to this podcast, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If we release this one, <laughs> yeah. um, fifteen tickets left. Fifteen, 15 tickets left. That's all. Just buy them. Just yeah, don't yeah. Turn just up. Get, it, yeah. get get them tickets. Cop them tickets. Tobacco fact. How much are tickets? I think twelve quid. Hmm. Very reasonable. Yeah, so, that's quite good for a show that's not. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, you're making some. How did you have to pay for the venue? Yeah. How oh, much do you pay for the venue? Are they taking a cut or is it flat fee? Oh, I left that side of things to my wife. Right. Was oh, she like your, your agent? She's handling my stuff because I got ADHD and I fuck up everything. <laughs> so she <laughs> took over my bookings. Well, my, I mean, sitting next to Darius just tried to put a microphone in front of the <laughs> picture. Of this. I that thought it might sad. work like an illusion. <laughs> but, I, I still don't understand why that didn't work. Oh, Darius, did you bring any of your... ADHD medication for me. I did not bring any of my ADHD medication. Oh, right. Nico's yeah, got some medication. It's a prescription no, drug. Oh, okay. No, I don't. What drugs have you got? Oh, yeah. How come the mushroom things are like, um, we probably shouldn't talk about this. Yeah, oh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I don't know what Mooch doing. Someone bought magic mushroom oil. I, I don't give what, a fuck. That so, is so long. You can buy, yeah, magic mushroom oil. That's, it's, it's, uh, it's a holistic thing. Th it's, it's completely it's cooking oil. Three cooking cooking oil. Branded. Yeah. yeah, cooking oil. Actually, we sell that. If you want to buy it, cut that bit off. Oh, you gotta cut that bit off. What? What? Oh, because what? That we we're taking magic mushroom oil. That you are <laughs> taking yeah. mushroom. Oil. I know. I'm selling it and supplying. It. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I, I'm the distributor. <laughs> Um, See, only white people can do that, man. I'm, I'm half white. <laughs> you do look pretty white. You look white. I'm very, you very look white. white. <laughs> yeah. You uh, look pink. Yeah, yeah. I, I do burn uh, when my screen is too bright. Am I white? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Actually, you're quite tanned. Yeah. All right, I got to go, though. Okay. All right, are we going to call it a day? Yeah. All right, thank you for listening to another episode of the Free Speech Podcast.
Please like and subscribe. In fact, fuck it. Just share the podcast around. There's some real shit podcasts. I've listened to them. We're, yeah. we're marginally less shit, so listen to us. Maybe you yeah. need to calibrate how shit this one is by going and listening to like uh, Brian is it, Logan's is podcast. Is it funny? <laughs> Brian Logan. <laughs> is it Share funny? the podcast. Which I, which I get like, one star. Subscribe and do everything and buy tickets. Just want to say, I think Brian Logan's a cool guy. Um, and It's he, a cool name. Like Brian Logan. Yeah. Sounds cool, but I, I don't know. I haven't. I, haven't Man, I just don't see the point of a comedy review. If I'm going to go decide to see a comedian, I can listen to him plug his show every week on the Three Speech podcast. Or I can go, you know, check stuff out on YouTube and then go and see them. What's the point of having some guy, in, snooty guy in the Guardian telling you that shit stuff's good and good stuff's shit? Pointless. January 28th, Tobacco Factory. <laughs> Brian, Brian. Lo- Brian Logan will be there. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Like, Thanks, <laughs>